married to the game. The Guyana Taylor story, narrated by John Horse. John Horse, you know, you were the first content creator that even I was even familiar with. The first time I heard about the name Brianna Taylor, it was from your channel. You know, first and foremost, can you just tell the people, you know, where they can contact you, what your ch and what your channel was about before we get into Married to the Game, the Brianna Taylor story? Of course. Um, this John Hush, man. What the fuck up, world? You know what I mean? And uh, you can find me on John Hush. Make sure you put in channel after that. And um, like I said, man, we try to exploit the truth, man. And we all about the truth. So, you know what I'm saying? Anywhere we can find it, we can get it. You know what I'm saying? If it's injustice anywhere, I'm going to post it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it pull at the heartstrings. But um, we're just trying to show people that we're not going for the same narrative. We out there uh, looking, you know what I'm saying? See our own narrative about things. You know what I mean? And get your own understanding. That's what brings us to marriage to the game today. Now, from your first impression of this entire story, the Breonna Taylor story, Fast forward to present day with all the transcripts that just had been released. My question to you is, before we dive any deeper is, does John Horse feel like Breonna Taylor was married to the game? Uh, yeah, just like a lot of these uh, females are, you know what I mean? Like I say, we all put on the front, you know what I'm saying? Just to get a little bit ahead in life, you know what I mean? Which is okay, but unfortunately, the thing that I'm looking at the media, you know what I'm saying, continues to, to, to just capture and make their own narrative before we know all the evidence. You know what I mean? So my whole thing is, was it suspicious? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Was it wrong what happened? Yeah. How it happened? Yeah. But at the same time, was the laws in place or what, what, what was everything accurate enough to where they had reasonable cause to do, I mean, to go into the house or even do what they did? Because that, it goes a lot deeper than that. But my own, I mean, just to start it off, I'm looking at it like this here. Um, when the first came out, we had um when it when it first came out, we heard about uh, you know what I'm saying, how they bust in the house and how they shot her and stuff like that. So with that being said, the news just splattered over, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they got the wrong they got the wrong apartment or the wrong house or the wrong address. This was the narrative. You know what I'm saying? Now we dig a little deeper, we see that the person who they was actually looking for, you know what I mean? The person who they was actually looking for, she had a whole relationship with this person. You know what I mean? Down to the point, when those transcripts came out, I, I can't even say I was surprised. You know what I mean? I was more pissed off, you know what I'm saying, at, at, at our simple black people that continue to follow these Black Lives Matter movements when they don't know the gist of what's really going on. You know what I mean? And we, and we continue to uh, latch our name onto that, and we seeing that it's a problem with every situation that we get into. You know what I mean? Uh, we can go back to uh, the Amber Geiger case. You know what I mean? She only got 10 years. Black Lives Matter was attached to that. Uh, Tatiana, it's plenty of names, you know what I'm saying? But my whole thing is, like, when when are we going to stop and do our own evidence and f stop feeling like uh, we're the only race? Why are we going to stop feeling like we all we all need to, you know what I'm saying, come out there and do what they're saying we, we need to do? Black Lives Matter, we need to march. We need. You see no other race doing that. So my whole thing is... With this story opening up, it, 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 it opens up a can of worms to, you know what I'm saying, contradictory, hypocrites, you know what I mean, stuff like that. And then it, 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 it further sets black people back because of the simple fact we so emotional and quick to jump on everything before we get the details that when those people who do get the details attack us, whether they be white or black, you know what I mean, they make you look like a fool. Rather be on your own video or whatever, whatever. That's why I tell people, take your time before you dive into anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> like the Chad Bosley thing. Uh, rest in peace, Chad Bosley. That's a whole thing on its own, on itself. You know what I mean? And for people to jump into it, you know what I'm saying? You got to let you gotta let stuff unfold. You know what I mean? And this is why we're here today, because of the simple fact. This story has unfolded, and it doesn't make any sense. So I want to know, from your perspective... You know what I mean? What do you think about the evidence that has just came out? You know what I mean? Who, me personally? Yeah, just personally. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I wanted to, before I answer that, I want to follow up with what you just said because it struck a nerve. You, you brought up the fact that it makes people 
kind of look like a fool. Now, as a content creator, you know, from your previous videos when you came out and it's that it's always an immediate shock, like when these stories come out and, you know, what are, what are we doing here? Are we talking narratives? Or are we talking facts? You know, and, but you know, my question is as a, as a content creator, how do you feel about a story like this when it comes out and they say that Breonna Taylor was sleeping in the bed, you know what I mean? And she got, uh, she got bucked on that respectfully. And now they're saying that she was in the hallway. How do you go from a bed to a hallway? Who came up with this narrative? My whole thing is, I'm looking at it like this. I'm not emotionally attached to it. So I'm, I'm looking at it from the outside in. Whether she was in the bedroom or she wasn't in the bedroom. You know what I mean? The, the, the surrounding, the, the, the evidence and the situation that took place and the people who she was involved with, that ultimately came. That, you know what I'm saying? The police and what they did, that wasn't the full on situation. That wasn't just one moment. That 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 was a moment that built up. You know what I mean? This this girl had been messing with this dude since 2016, man. You know what I mean? So and I know this, you know what I'm saying, personally, when I used to uh do whatever, do whatever. You know what I'm saying? You are you always keep you two girls. You keep you two females, man. You got one that, that's clean and you, you know what I'm saying, put stuff in her name, whatever, whatever. And then you got the one that's going, you know what I'm saying, that's down for you. You know what I'm saying? That know all the dirt. <clears throat> now, my whole thing is, my whole thing is, I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at dude like, okay, that's that's pretty a normal situation to me. You know what I'm saying? Coming from where I'm coming from, that's pretty much a normal situation. But the whole, like I said, it fucked up when the goddamn media, it grabbed a hold of it. Because they made Rihanna Taylor out to be something that she wasn't. You know what I mean? And that's the problem that we have with black excellence. You know what I'm saying? What they call black excellence and stuff. Y'all give a facade of what y'all want it to be. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be a, a Disney movie or all y'all dressing up in crazy ass suits and hats and shit. You know what I'm saying? And y'all calling it black excellence. You know what I mean? To me, it's just it, it's a bunch of fuckery because you, you're pushing, uh, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You're pushing, you're pushing, pushing fake tissue shit. You know what I'm saying? Something that is well, like propaganda. Propaganda. It's imaginary. I wouldn't even call it propaganda, but just for you to like a BET, for you to put, let's just say a a, a, a classy ballroom or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to be something that you're not. Trying to dress up like the white folks. We don't get down like that. Why don't we stay true to what we do? You know what I mean? Instead of trying to, instead of being like them. This is why I try to tell people it's two different sets of black people. You know what I mean? But that's a whole nother story. The story I'm getting at is I'm more pissed off not at Brianna, not at the police, uh, not even at the people involved. I'm pissed off at the people who, who, who set up there and reacted and they used this as a launching pad. You know what I'm saying? To even go into this year and furthermore on. You know what I mean? Because this was just one of many that this, you know what I'm saying? I would say Black Lives Matter because that's who stands out the most. You know what I'm saying? That pushes this propaganda of black people being treated so wrong and all this other stuff. Like, bro, come on, man. You know what I mean? We, 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 you only get treated wrong as an individual if you allow it. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a whole yeah. fact. Now, just to answer your question that you asked a, a couple of minutes ago, how, how I personally feel about it, you know, fast forward to present day is, you know, um, I'm upset because at the end of the day, we have uh, innocent, like actual innocent black men, black women, and black children that are being preyed upon, and the, a lot of police by police officers, by people in their own community, by people outside of their community, by the elites, so on and so forth. And it, it upsets me that the the people that are being pushed, you know, through mainstream media, through the mainstream race baiting media, are always people with. Are always people in the game. I don't. I just, for the most part, like you brought up the Tatiana's. Yeah, she. I don't think Tatiana did shit wrong, as far as I know. She was really just in her house, like, you know what I mean. They came to her house because she had a door open. Like somebody put in a. Uh, uh, he called to see if they. Uh, uh, her neighbor called to see if she was okay or whatever, and then she got clapped yeah, or whatever. That, but that motherfucker, yeah, he got he got murdered because he didn't do his job properly. You right. know what I mean? But my whole thing is what pisses me off. Like I said, we be riding the wave, man. Y'all got to stop that shit. Y'all got to do follow up on these stories. Because while it's just a story to you and it's going to pass, the person or the persons 
you know what I'm saying, that we are advocating for, which is the truth, period, you know what I'm saying, right or wrong, they they suffer when we move on to the next story. You know what I mean? Y'all got to stop doing that. Although, if you're going to support George Floyd, go ahead and support George Floyd. But don't hop on it and Rashad books and all this other stuff, man. Do all of them. You know what I'm saying? And I know you can't do all of them because it's tiresome. You know what I mean? People got jobs. People got lives to live to. That's when you look at the media and you just be like, you know what? Y'all need to stop putting this shit on TV. I know it happened every day, all day. You know what I'm saying? Even since I was young. You know what I mean? This is something I I done been beat up by the police. It's something easy to put on the, on the, on the thing. And like I say, you trying to keep people's feelings and emotions and stuff riled up. But then when you come out with some shit like this, the Breonna Taylor, it kind of makes the situation worse because now you got those people who saying, I told you so, you know what I'm saying? Ready to rebuttal against all, you know what I'm saying? People with your fists up, you know what I mean? And the, and the whole thing, and guess what? And, and it surprises me because even with the truth coming out, us black folks want to be called black folks. We still set up there and, and, and we defend this shit. Why? Because somebody told us to hate this person, or somebody said we need to hate this person. You ain't this if you ain't if you ain't hating on this and this. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at the real facts. You know what I'm saying? This girl, the police, they have been following this man since 2016. Uh, ironically, I guess they weren't messing with each other for the last past two months leading up to the situation. But the whole simple fact is they this is they they they're following you. You know what I mean? So they got a warrant. They had reasonable cause to come in that house, even though they didn't find anything. You know what I'm saying? And before we went to the, I mean, before we went to the politicians to ask for uh, the, the the cease and desist with the no-knock warrants, it was a no-knock warrant. They didn't have to announce themselves. You know what I'm saying? And my whole thing is, and the story is, that the dude, Kendall Walker, bust back first. So guess what? So the police are on a return flight. Let's let's dive deeper into that. Let's literally immerse ourselves in that situation. Now the police did they did have a no knock warrant, but as far as I heard, the police did knock on the door. They were banging on the door for uh, according to the transcripts, but the police were in plain clothes. Um, now by the police being in plain clothes, now and, and if you know you know niggas is hustling. Not necessarily, they're not hustling out of their house, that apartment or whatever they was at. By the police not saying that they were the police and wearing plain clothes. If somebody come in my house, John Horst, respectfully, I'm bucking. If they don't if they don't announce themselves as police and they got on plain clothes, I'm bucking too. So is it do you feel let, let me just ask this. Whose fault was it that Breonna Taylor was shot in in the damn head? As far as I'm looking at it. And this go out to your Black Lives Matter people and everybody else. I'm looking at it like it's Kenneth Walker's fault. You know what I mean? Allegedly. Because of the simple fact, like I said, they're not going to return fire, you know what I'm saying, unless you fire it first. You know what I'm saying? I, this is how the search warrant goes. They don't come in just shooting. That makes no sense. But if they don't you know announce I mean? themselves as police, isn't there, do you feel like there's some confusion there? Like, put yourself in that situation. Do you, would you be confused? If they didn't announce themselves as police, like how would you know they police? Totally. Yeah, totally. I mean, and that and, and that that issue seemed to uh, straighten itself out because I think Kentucky had um, ceased and desist all no knock warrants, but at the time it was a no knock warrant. They did not have to identify themselves. You know what I mean? They, 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 and that's that's the whole problem. Now the problem it lies in how did Brianna get shot? Well. They say she was in the bed. They say she was in the hallway. Either way, it goes, Kenneth Walker let off a shot. Rather than one, two, three, it don't matter. They're going to return a fight. You know what I mean? This is just automatic. So before you pulled that trigger, did you, you know what I mean? Like I understand, you probably trying to scare somebody off or whatever, whatever. And I'm not blaming him like, hey, this is, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, like this is the, how the situation and the chips fail. You know what I'm saying? If you wouldn't have shot that shot, you know what I'm saying? And let's just say they would have came in. You know what I'm saying? The situation would have been totally different. But we don't know that. You know what I'm saying? The whole simple fact is, and that's why I'm glad that law is, is changed because that's why we sitting up here confused now, right here in the depths. Like, what the fuck do I do in that moment? You know what I mean? You know, it's interesting. I mean, it's it's interesting, John. I don't mean to cut you off, but a lot of, a lot of jack boys, a lot of people, a lot of robbers, a lot of thieves, 
they will impersonate themselves as police. You know, as, as far as the coronavirus, there was people going around impersonating themselves as police and robbing people during the whole coronavirus. So, um, you know, that's always a possibility as well. When you deep in the game, or at least you know, you know what I mean? You got some, uh, some street knowledge about you. It's always a possibility that people, you know, robbers or people that's trying to steal your shit, they can impersonate police officers, you know? Yeah, I mean, shit, I can tell you some stories about that. I mean, shit, uh, dude set up there and they, they took a them listen, they, they got the drop, they found about the drop, and the best way to get it, they, they pulled them over, you know what I'm saying, like a regular traffic routine, they played it like they were the police and they got away, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, what I'm, what I'm saying basically with that story is nothing's far-fetched. But my whole thing, get as much of the story as you can before you open your mouth. And this is why I try to be the truest content creator I can be. I don't want to sit up here and lead people the wrong way. And then when you find out you lead people the wrong way, these motherfuckers continue to goddamn do it. You know, just like the dude who was talking about Nick Cannon, you know, He's still on the narrative. No matter how bad Nick Cannon fucks up, he's that's his guy. You know what I mean? And it's just shit like that. That I'm not for, man. I can be a life fan of you for all the long days and all, but when you fuck up with me, my whole thing is your your authenticity is gone. It's ruined. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I don't know how you gonna recover. You know what I'm saying? I don't. So I mean, to look at that situation, I kind of blame Kenneth Walker for shooting his gun, but I don't blame him for shooting his gun because at the same time he was protecting his, his dwelling. I mean, it just it's a fucked up situation. But at the same time, what I'm saying to, to, to everyone else is that they had every right to come to that door. They went to the judge, got the warrants. They had a reason why they got the warrants. So if she knew what was going on, you know what I'm saying? She knew what was going on before all y'all even found out. And and and, it, and it's funny to me because when the, when the police sit up there and they and they withhold evidence, uh, we're not talking about the case. You got the media sit up here and they run off with these narratives, and we might be running way away from the whole narrative. So when they do come out, it's like, damn, we look like the assholes. We marching, tearing up shit, and we don't even know what we tearing up shit for. We keep setting ourselves back with that. We can't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? People need to get into their individual lives and see what really matters. Because you look around and you matter like, damn, my kids matter. My time matters. You know what I'm saying? But you keep letting these people take your free time because you don't know what to do with your free time. A lot of school activities and shit gone. You know what I'm saying? Why are the kids watching the same shit we watch? Like I told people on uh, last podcast, there's levels to this shit, man. It's really levels to this shit. We had to grow, we had to grow up and we had to learn with different situations. When a nasty movie came on or a movie you was watching with your parents came on and a nasty movie part came on, they say close your eyes. Even though, <laughs> even though you peeking, you right, peeking right, through right. that motherfucker. But it's just the whole simple fact, man. It, 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 it's... It's rule. It, it's it's universal laws and universal rules set in place. I wouldn't even call them rules, but it's universal laws set in place for our safety. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just period. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Intuition, stuff like that, man. People have to actually use it. Now that's what I call magic. You know what I'm saying? If you got a feeling that a person bad for you and you don't want to deal with them, then don't deal with them. But if you, we have people who feel like, okay, well I got to do this and I got to do that. I gotta go to work, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Look, man. One thing about it, two things for sure. When you sit up there and treat yourself like a robot, and you go back and forth to work or whatever you you may be doing, giving your time and your energy to, you're treating that that entity, whether it be a building or a, a whatever, whatever. You treating it like a person. You know what I'm saying? Just like I said on the last podcast, according to the United States, nigga, a, a place like Subway is considered a person. You know what I'm saying? And this is why, I, I, oh man, I got a video coming up for your ass. I got a video coming up for your ass, little Pete. We're going to talk about Popeyes. Oh, shit. Let me just reel it back. We're going to get into it. 
Let me just oh, reel yeah, we're going to bring them back. <laughs> we're going to bring them back. Let me, let me just reel it back. Because oh, my whole thing is, if, like, people like us, bro, if we're going to attack it, we got to let the people know that what what we are attacking and what the purpose is. Like, when I do this video on Popeye's, motherfuckers got to realize a lot of the stuff that I'm going to tell you, you didn't, it, it wasn't general information. So you can't tell me that you knew. You know what I'm saying? No black person has ever owned the Popeye's. But they in your hood. You understand? And they call this your hood. Now, if you really want to change your hood around, stop eating the damn chicken. Because the people who own the damn chicken, they not eating it. They eating steak, filet mignon, riding on boats and yachts with, guess what? Our money. But we can't even fucking get schools in the hood maintenance on. But guess what? Since they taking all that Popeye's money and they living out in their neighborhood, Guess what they get to do? They get to build a whole new elementary school look like a goddamn college. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, people. Hold on, we got to stay on Breonna Taylor, man. But that's... that's... Yeah, but this, 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 yeah, this all leads into Breonna Taylor because mm. just like I said, it goes back to the narrative. We sit up there and we believe shit. You know what I'm saying? Just, we, we believe in the wrong shit. That's just like with the, like I said, with the lady with the Popeye's commercial. Everybody thought that was her chick. You can't, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't the bitch chicken. We got to stop. We have to God do damn. Certain. That's a fact. We got to stop being lazy. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I mean by it ties back into the narrative because we all fit that social narrative. Look, watch, listen, react. And everybody sitting up here playing with us with that shit. You know what I'm saying? So now what the fuck we supposed to say about Breonna Taylor? You know what I'm saying? They waiting on us to rebuttal Whatever bullshit they got. And I done seen a couple of videos, and y'all look like assholes. The people who did make videos, y'all look like assholes because y'all sitting up here and y'all still defending the shit. Why? Because somebody told you to hate the police. You understand? No, you get on the police ass and you make them do their job. You go to your city council. You let these motherfuckers know in your district what you want and what you do not want. Y'all take control. The control is not way in Washington. The control is not way on IG and Twitter and YouTube. It's right there in your neighborhood. A lot of motherfuckers don't even know. I guarantee you, 85% of the motherfuckers, I'm just throwing a number out there. 85% of the people don't know who their district attorney is. Who is your, who is your, I mean, not district attorney, but your district representative for your neighborhood. Who represents your neighborhood when they go down to the city council? Absolutely no one knows and doesn't care to find out. But when election time come around, you see all these funny ass goddamn signs. This is what this shit about. And I feel so bad for Breonna Taylor because of the simple fact you 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 were you they made you into a beautiful person. EMT, you know what I'm saying? They, they made you into a beautiful person. Hold on, John. Are you saying that 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 they hyped her up like Flavor Flav? <laughs> the media was a hype man. <laughs> yeah, damn right. I mean, but that's what they do from your Kaepernick's to your George Floyd's and everything. Yep. You know what I mean? And like I say, I'm not getting on Breonna Taylor, but it's the <coughs> fact that we all have to do. So let the story develop. You know what I'm saying? When everybody heard, heard Jamarcus Chapman's name, they like, oh, well, they was looking for the wrong person. She date Kenneth Walker. Do y'all not even know that these two people know each other? These two people was in the same cell as each other? Conversating about that, you he, know what I'm saying? he was saying that Kenneth Walker had her brain fragments on her on his shirt. Yeah, I can believe that. I can believe that. They say she was shot twice in the head and then she was shot five times, so she got shot a total of seven times. But see, the media won't tell you that because they control your anger. They gonna no, we don't tell them that. Don't put that in there. You know, make sure you leave that out. And, Make sure you put that in. You know what I mean? Either way it go, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 either way it go, they got your ass by the ball if your ass want to pay attention to it. My whole thing is if you want them to let go of your balls, you sit up there and ask your own goddamn questions. You know what I'm saying? So I think the problem is this, John Horace. I think the problem is people don't know why they're protesting, but the people that own and control the media they they know why they want people to protest. Would you agree with that? 
Yeah, because they want to, like I say, they still want to feel like they have control. They want to sit up there and run their bullshit-ass propaganda plan with whatever so-and-called number. But my problem with the protesting is these motherfuckers are sitting up here and they are labeling people, and you don't know who is who. You talking about a Trump supporter? You talking about this person's supporter? Do they have name tags? Why? It, it is so dangerous to put a group of people with, with, with labels on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Look what happened to him. These motherfuckers get murked. Uh, Rashad Brooks, he was a quote-unquote protester or activist. Even the dude who got shot yesterday in L.A., they calling him a protester. Like, bro, y'all cannot do that. And just by y'all doing that, y'all fucking us up. And black people, y'all need to say something about that shit. You need to let them know who I am, where I'm from, my hood, or, or I don't represent that. Stop saying they and we, because guess what? The other side, you know what I'm saying? The people who feel uh, uh, privileged, which you're not, you just as fucked up as we are. You pay more bills and everything, work harder than anything else. So, like I said, there's no such thing as supposed to be working. You know what I'm saying? That that goes back to spirituality. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's supposed to work. Everything should be free. But with that being said, while you thinking you living the life and you want uh, America to be great again, black or white, you want America to be great again, it was never great from the beginning. Just like Breonna Taylor, I'm saying, I'm just saying, just like Breonna Taylor, that bitch is beautiful, but it's a little dirt behind them. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't Peachy King. But that's what I'm so tired of, the, the, the free black folks and want to be free and all this other stuff and preaching that bullshit on your BET channels, all your black channels and shit. You motherfuckers are sitting up here playing with black people's minds. I'm sitting up here looking at a black uh, local channel called Bounce, and all they're showing is police movies. Uh, 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 shit like that, police encounters, uh, national security with Martin Lawrence. They showing uh, the goddamn uh, Blue Street. You know what I'm saying? Everything with a cop and the narrative in the shit. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is, no, people don't have to turn off their fucking TV. But yes, y'all motherfuckers need to protest the real people. Protest your bouncers. Protest your BETs, your MTVs, and shit like that. Shit, hell, protest your Popeyes. Did your motherfuckers know Burger King owned Popeyes too? You know what I'm saying? You know, John, it's funny that you brought that up, too. We talked about that on, like, this, the fourth or fifth episode of the Straight to the Podcast. We, we all, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we been there and back. And, um, yeah. you know, my whole thing is this, man. It is, I feel like innocent black men, innocent black women, and innocent black children, they get preyed upon every day. They might even get murdered every day. And my whole thing is when innocent people of color innocent melanated people lose their life nobody cares but it but when people that are in the game you know what i'm saying i watch a show called better call saul i don't know if you ever watched it. it's a good ass show it's called better call saul it's, it's a spinoff of the breaking bad but long story mm-hmm. short um it's a lawyer that defends all the criminals that's you know in the cartel right and his girlfriend she um she goes and talks to one of the dudes in the cartel, and once she does that, one of uh, one of the affiliates, uh, one of the niggas that's affiliated with the lawyer, he tells her, he tells him, he's like, your girlfriend is in the game now because she put herself in that situation. She put herself in that situation, and when he yeah. told her, when when he told uh, when when the lawyer's affiliate told him that, <clears throat> he acknowledged. Damn, if she's in the game, then that means she could get shot in the fucking head at any time. And it's kind of like morally justifiable because she put herself in that situation. So I'm pissed off that the the real niggas, you know, who the real niggas and real bitches is, though, the ones who knowing that and they accept that, you know what I'm saying? Cause they know what time it is. Do you but do you feel like Breonna Taylor knew that and accepted that? No. Because, you know what I'm saying, you feel like, because a person can woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? She was probably woo. Hey, baby, this ain't got nothing to do with you. As long as she ain't seen no drugs and the person told, ran her a story, like Black Lives Matter, they ran her a nice narrative, she was down with it. You know what I'm saying? She didn't see the consequences and everything. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's always better to do your dirt by your damn self. But my, my whole thing to go back to the beginning of what you were saying, nobody innocent. You know what I'm saying? 
We were born into a world of chaos. Everybody broke the fucking rules when you came in this bitch. When you was born out your mama. You forced your way out. You was pushed out. You had to fight to survive. Ain't nobody tell you to come here. Ain't nobody tell you to be here. Not that I know of. You know what I mean? So I don't feel like nobody's innocent. I feel like we create an image of what is innocent and what is good to us. And we try to follow that narrative. You know what I'm saying? Only thing I know to be true is my heart because it has feelings. Yeah, it, it lets me know when I'm doing something bad, good. It lets me know these different, it lets me decipher these different type of situations. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That way you don't place yourself in those kind of situations. But people, they look too much on the outside. Well, I got this going, I got this going. But when it all fall down, you feel me? And, and unfortunately for her, it fell down hard, real hard. She couldn't get back up. But my whole thing is the people who sit up there and they profit off us with the wrong narrative. Instead of finding the truth and getting and, and getting straight to a solution, now we we get all these stories and now 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 we looking for a solution. <coughs> and this is what I'm telling you. With, why you trying to conjugate and, and be all nice with white people? When these situations, because they are going to arise again, when all these situations like 2020 arises again, they're going to look at you crazy. Like what is you complaining about? We gave y'all what y'all wanted. We treated y'all how y'all wanted to be treated. And this and this and this. What black folks got to understand is you are a person just like everybody else on this earth. So everybody who feels like they have rights, you have just as much rights as them. Just like that dude who took that goddamn, uh, that, that, that rifle to that goddamn protest. You can take a rifle to a goddamn protest, but no, you want to listen to the Black Lives Matter motherfuckers talking about non-violence. Well, bitch, we out here getting killed. When you gonna get violent? Then you go on their website and you fucking realize that these pussy motherfuckers ain't even for the black man. But y'all making all y'all money off the black man. The dead black man. You feel me? But you for this same sex marriage and all this other stuff. Listen, black lives matter to me is a joke. You know what I'm saying? It's a joke. You say you stand for black, black men and black lives. I don't give a... Listen, man. And then all these people with that all lives matter shit. Y'all got to stop this. Because my whole thing is you can't make me feel bad about me going through some fucked up shit. That's just like us up there talking about the J people. You know what I'm saying? You know the J people with the hats, the funny hats and stuff? The baby hats. Yeah, the baby hats. It's just like us talking about them. We can't do that. You know what I'm saying? But, but y'all do us just like the J people, and, and, and but y'all profit off us. And y'all, y'all, y'all running into the ground. John you know Horace, let me just ask you a quick question, man. And I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it with my chest. Are Jews the new Nazis? Hmm. Hmm. No, nah, because, I, I mean, I, li I like to put a face to a name. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't jump out there and be like, yeah, all, all J words are like that. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Oh, but I do want to know the J who who, who owns Biocom. You know what I'm saying? I'm blaming him. And if you you represent what you represent.